What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. Today I got a really quick recipe for you to get ready for the Super Bowl. This is going to be some bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers, but done my way. And let's start off with ingredients first. So first thing I got some Monterey Jack cheese, some bacon, just regular jalapenos, some cream cheese, that's what we're using for the jalapenos themselves. And then optional, I'm gonna make a dip for them, which I need some um, Greek yogurt. And then some of this wild tree dip blend. This is the dill dip blend. And then I'm also going to be mixing inside the cream cheese some of their garlic and herb blend. Now this stuff here is definitely optional because everyone's not gonna have it. But let me tell you, so what Wild Tree, what it is, is basically um, one of the companies that comes into your house and does basically like a party where they have consultants that sell stuff to you. Now, one of my friends sells this stuff, and I'll be putting her information down below if some of this seems interesting to you and you'd like to buy some. You don't have to have a party. You can just uh, straight buy the stuff. So this stuff is organic. It's gluten-free. So there's basically nothing bad in here. And from what I've tried so far, a lot of this stuff is really good. So let's get our dip made first. And like I said, this is totally optional. This isn't something that's required, just if you wanna give your guest, you know, something different, something, um, another option to choose from. And this can go, you know, if you're making anything else like wings or, you know, potato skins or anything like that, this would go excellent with that too. So I have seven ounces of Greek yogurt. And then I'm going to be using the Wild Tree Dill Dip Blend. So let me show you this stuff. It's basically just really good seasonings and herbs and stuff. And if you, if I can get it on here. So there's your ingredients, all organic ingredients and there's no crap in there. So we need two teaspoons of this. And then just stir it up. You know, anytime you make a dip or anything, it's good to always, you know, chill it before you use it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this in the refrigerator and then we'll get the poppers made and then we'll break it back out. All right, next we're going to make our filling for our poppers. So I have just eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm actually using light cream cheese. You can use whatever you want. And to that, I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of Wild Trees garlic and herb blend. Now, once again, this is totally optional. Um, one thing I have done in the past, if you have any like, like dry ranch seasoning, um, you could add a couple of uh, tablespoons to it. And it actually comes out really good. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of this, or teaspoons, sorry. Go ahead and mix this up really good. Well, let me show you what's in this one. So it's basically garlic, parsley, dill, and basil. All right, to this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. You don't have to add that much, just, uh, I'm just eyeballing it just to mix them in. And there's our filling. All right, now it's time to put these things together. And what I found is easiest for me is just to use a regular butter knife. 
just take out some of your filling. And put it in. Some people like to use piping bags. Um, sometimes I feel that if you put too much cheese in it, it won't squeeze very good, so I like to use a butter knife. All right, once you got the poppers all filled with your filling, now it's just time to wrap it with bacon. And all I do is I just take the, I do one piece of bacon basically per popper. And the bacon, you know, it's kind of sticky enough. You don't really need a, a toothpick or anything like that because it, it'll basically hold itself. And when you get your poppers all wrapped in bacon, um, one last flavor layer that you want to put on, just grab your favorite barbecue rub. I'm kind of partial to the Gorilla Grills all-purpose rub. It's really good. It's got some sugars in there that go really good with uh, bacon. So just a, a tiny, tiny coating. All right, so like I said before, we are gonna be cooking these in the air fryer. Um, if you don't have one of these, that's fine. We're gonna be cooking at about 400 degrees today. You don't necessarily have to cook that high, um, but all we're trying to do here is just cook the bacon. Once the bacon's done, the poppers are done. So on your grill smoker, go higher heat, 350 to 400 to be fine. Just cook it till the bacon's done. So with the air fryer, it's pretty easy. Just gonna turn it on. And I'm actually going to just take it up to 400 degrees and we'll set the timer for about 12 minutes. But we'll check it here and there. And, and once the bacon's done to your liking, that's when we're done. So air fryer has a basket just like a real fryer. And we're just going to layer them in there. Now one tip for an air fryer, don't overstuff the basket. It will, it won't cook as good if it's got too much stuff in there. So I can't get them all in here on this one round, but that's okay. And we'll, we'll talk about times once uh, we get them done and the bacon's to our liking. So you just slide the basket in, hit the power button. We'll check on them in about maybe five minutes. All right, it's been about six minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look just to see how they're cooking. So with the air fryer, you just basically just pull it out. So we can see. They're coming along nicely. You just pull it out and it goes off and as soon as you put it back in, it just turns right back on and goes back to the same uh, time that it was. So we'll continue to let it cook. All right, so our air fryer just finished. So this was 12 minutes. Now, like I said, it all depends on how well you like your bacon done. For me, I like a little bit crispier bacon. So 12 minutes actually worked out perfect. Now, let me say one thing about the air fryer. I love mine to death. We use it all the time. Um, I have a three and a half quart one. I wish we would have got the, they have a bigger one. So this particular brand, so Power Air Fryer XL, they make a bigger one, like a five and a half quart one. Um, I wish we would have got it. Um, we could have did all the poppers at the same time, but I got a couple more I need to cook and then we'll check them out. All right, guys, here's the finished product. So I ended up cooking these for about you know, 12 minutes a piece. So it all depends on the type of bacon you get, how thick it is or how thin it is to, to how long it's going to be. But like I said, just go start at 400 degrees and just watch the bacon and whenever it's the way you like it pull them out they should be good now you're probably going to get some of the cheese is probably going to ooze out like you see here um, just go ahead and scrape that out of the pan take it with you it's still good now one thing about the air fryer too forgot to mention earlier if you want your bacon to be basically crispy all the way around you need to flip it 
because as you see on the underside here, it's not as done as the um, top side. But for me, that's fine. I don't, I'm not necessarily worried about flipping them over. And if you if you have one of the the smaller air fryers like I do, and you have to do more than one batch, remember your second batch because your unit is already heated up it's probably going to cook a little bit faster than the first one so just really watch the second batch um, so you don't overcook them so let's go ahead and try one of these i'm gonna go ahead and give this a bite right here looks pretty good though still got plenty of plenty of cheese on the inside of it let me go ahead and try it I want to go ahead and try this dip too with it. All right, all I can say is you can't go wrong with jalapeno poppers when you got guests over, watching football games, any sports for that matter. They go good with just about anything. If you have an air fryer just laying around, use that real estate just to cook something up if you got your smoker filled up. If not, put them on your smoker too grill wherever you want just between 350 400 degrees cook to your bacon's done all right guys that's it for our bacon wrapped jalapeno video i hope everyone has an awesome weekend have fun watching the football games and stay safe and as always if you've got any questions or comments go ahead and leave them below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and always holler back